Welcome back, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to complete our dude tutorial today. At the end of the last video, we basically did all of the inking, so the hard part is over. All we are going to do is going to duplicate out that layer, and then we are going to add on our brushes. So just notice that I locked out and then hid the other two layers. I'm going to come over to brushes. I'm going to go to user define. If you there in the anchor point guide, you will have the nose, just so everyone is aware. In the video, there was not a nose. Okay, so we are basically ready to go when it comes to our brushes. Now keep in mind, uh, on all of the brushes, brush 101 if you have not seen any of our tutorials yet, is we are looking for the edges. So if it is floating out in space, that is usually a good signal to have a tapered part of the line. If the lines connect with each other, that is a good point to have uh, the lines kind of get to the fatter. So you'll see that there's a couple different options. Uh, we've got a couple different tapered on both sides, and then we also have kind of the fats on both sides as well. So it just depends on what your line is as well as what you're looking for. So I'm just selecting it. Doesn't matter with what tool. And then we're just looking at the edges. So this one I want it to be fatter down at the bottom. Let's take that back. That's going to be fat on both sides. I'm looking at that edge. So it's going to go fat to skinny. This one's going to be tapered on both sides. This one we're actually going to modify it a tiny bit, just so you guys are aware. So I'm just looking at that forehead shape. It's basically flipped. That's the only difference. So I still want there to be an eyebrow shape. I just want the hair to be on the outside. That's the only difference. That one's going to go fat. That's going to go skinny on both sides. These two, I will have them go fat by the teeth. And that back one, just so everyone is aware, is going to get filled in black. So that one isn't going to matter too much. So if there's too much of a slant on it and you want to change that, you can. I'm going to have that one go tapered towards the middle. That one's going to go fat up by the cheek. And, if, and at any point, if you needed to modify the points, we have not expanded anything yet, so you're able to come back and modify. These are going to be tapered. This back one's going to get basically blacked out, so that one's not going to matter as much. Tapered on both sides. That one's going to get fat by the wrist. This one is going to be tapered kind of by the palm, and then it's going to get fat. That's going to go tapered to fat. Good. I'm going to say tapered on both ends. This one I want on the right hand side it to be tapered and then go fat towards the thumb. So we're going to try and mimic that on both. Now on a lot of that right hand side of the body that is going to be kind of fat on both ends. So we're just going to play around with uh, the thickness of each one. But most of these are going to be connected so that's where that fat on both ends are going to be coming into play. Same thing. I'm looking at the wrist. That one's going to be fat and then it's going to go tapered by the stomach. This one's going to be tapered by the collar. Now some of these lines, just so everyone is aware as well, is we are going to be coloring uh, white and black, so that lapel is going to get a little bit lighter. But we're going to do that after we do our live paint bucket. If you want to do it now, if you have the tinted brushes, you'd be able to color it white right now. We're just going to modify that. That's both of the little Mickey Mouse gloves. It's going to go fat by the wrist. And I just want that to basically go all the way over. So it's going to go tapered by the knuckles, and then it's going to get a little bit fatter. That one's going to be tapered on both ends. This one's going to be fat towards the middle of the thumb. I'm going to do tapered, and then I'm actually going to drop down by the cuff. Good. These are both going to get tapered, so the little crease in the shirt as well as his little X button, that one's going to go tapered by the stomach. I'm going to drop that down to 0.5. Looking at the cheek, that by the chin. Keep in mind that right hand side of the head is going to get blacked out too. This is both going to be tapered up in towards the legs. This is going to be a big long tapered on both sides. 
Good. Bottom of the feet, taper it on both ends. This back leg isn't going to get blacked out, so that one's not going to be that big of a deal either. Okay. All we're doing is just double checking at this point in time. What I would do is Shift X. Shift X. I'm going to combine those two, and then I'm also going to just change the opacity. And that's just so when we do the next step of the eraser tool, it's a lot easier. So all we're doing right now is just double checking our lines. Now next, if you say, hey, all my lines or the brush styles are where I want them to be, notice that I zoomed out. And now what we are looking for is kind of the fatness. So if I wanted to change any of the thicknesses at all, this would be a good time to do that. And just notice that if I zoom all the way out, I can see it as a whole. And then I can modify that. So I'm just kind of modifying the eyebrow. And what I'm looking at is the bottom point. I just want that to be a little bit more even with the mouth. So I want it to be even with the other side of the eye, but I also want it to kind of follow along to the same line. Okay, clean up the workspace. Hard part's over. So what we are definitely going to want to do is you definitely want to save this layer. So definitely duplicate out your inking brushes. I'm going to lock out that layer. I am also going to hide it. This is where I'm going to say expanded on this layer. So this is where we're going to select everything. We're going to go over to object. You're going to say expand appearance and we're going to click it again. So it says expand. We get our little pop-up. Just hit OK. And at this point in time, we're going to be erasing. And we're going to just zoom in just so you can see the process here. So I'm going to select the line. I'm going to go Shift E. Shift E is the eraser tool, by the way. And as long as I select the lines, I can just get rid of any of the extras. So just kind of think of really two different things. I'm thinking of what's in front and or if there's just simple overlapping, you can just get rid of it. So a lot of the times when we do our brushes, we extend out those lines, especially for the fat part of the line, so we don't have to modify our lines or the stroke at all. And then that just simplifies it quite a bit. So all I'm doing is selecting, Shift E, and then we are just thinking of what is in front. So just notice that it does not delete out any of the lines. It looks like it does, but it does not delete out any of the lines that are not selected. So I'm just going to zoom in, speed up this process for you so you don't have to watch this whole thing because it's not good TV. And then what I would do right now is just pause it and then just double check your line. So as you're erasing everything, just double check everything. What we're going to do is change back out our black. Now if we wanted to expand everything, if you don't want any white lines, or if you don't want any change of lines, I would probably recommend to uh, grab everything and then to unite all of your lines. So I'm going to select everything. Everything is locked out. I'm going to come over to Live Paint. I'm going to Make. And all we're doing is the gray, so we don't have any specifics for our uh, color palette today. And what we're going to be looking for first is anything that we can be filling in solid black. So that back leg, I'm going to say the corner of the mouth, back part of the hair, and I would say right side of the uh, face as well. Everything else could be grayed out. And if you're not super happy with the kind of old-timey look, if you want it to be more colored, feel free. That's just creative license at that point in time. So what you're going to notice is that we are going to be doing just kind of some base colors first, just so we can establish our colors. Number two is since we are going to be doing some whites, that also just lets us know what we missed. So if we uh, start filling or start doing our drop shadows after the fact, this will be filling in our shape. So this really does two different things. One, it does the coloring, but it also creates a shape for us so we don't have to keep using the pen tool. So this saves a crazy amount of time. And all we're doing is switching through the arrows. So the little arrow keys down in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to toggle between your swatches. So once you have your white and black swatches already selected, that is what's going to be selecting that. So I'm going to be doing lighter values. If you guys are liking the tutorials, definitely subscribe. Definitely keep your eye out for more playlists coming out this school year. We do have some whiteboard ones coming out. And then other than that, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.